I'm going to show you how you can apply group policies to Active Directory sites rather than organizational units. So to start, if we open up our group policy management and we drill down to our group policies, what we can do is we can create a group policy like we normally would, and then we can apply that to organizational units. Now that is pretty much the standard way of doing it these days. However, what you can do is if you expand sites, it should be blank, but you can right click and then press show sites. And then you can select your active directory sites. So these are the same sites that are within the sites and services. So if I open that, we can see we've got London, New York, and Paris. And if we come back to group policy, we've got London, New York, and Paris. So if we select these and press OK, these now appear in our group policy management. And then what we can do is we can just grab one of our GPOs and then drag it over the London site, for example. Now what this will do is any device that gets picked up as part of being the London site will get this group policy applied to it. Now, if we come back to our sites and services and then press on subnets, we can see which subnets have been assigned to the London site. So for this example, now any device that is in the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 subnet is classified as in the London site and will now get that group policy as well as any servers that have been chucked in to the servers, such as domain controllers for that site. So if we come back to group policy, we can see that we've got our GPO London applied to the London site. And I'll just apply the New York one to the New York site and then the Paris one to the Paris site, just so we've got them applied. Now, if I open up a command prompt and if I just run a quick GP update slash force, just so I can force through the latest policies. Now, once that's done, I'll just clear the screen. And then if I run a GP result slash R, what that will do is that will check what group policies are currently being applied. Now we can see if we scroll to the very top, under site name, it's picked up this device as being in the London site, which is correct because it's a domain controller and it's also got an IP address that's on the London subnet. So we can see it's assigned to the London site. And if we keep scrolling down, we should find somewhere that under apply group policies, and this is for user settings, we've got our GPO London. And then under the computer settings, it's not appearing because there aren't any computer settings in that policy. So we can see that the GPO London is being applied because it is applied to this London site. And that is where it's getting picked up from. Now, just something to bear in mind is that with the sites, it applies the site GPOs first, and then it goes through the domain and then the organizational units. So whatever's applied in this GPO could potentially be overwritten by what is ever by any other policies that are set up in the domain. So that's just something to bear in mind. Now, this feature isn't really used all that often, I don't think. It's not something I actually use in a production environment anymore. However, when we did used to use this, it would be stuff like deploying proxy settings for people who have like roaming laptops. So you could deploy a different proxy setting for when people get identified as being in, for instance, the London office or for instance, the New York office. It just picks up whatever office they're in and just applies the correct proxy settings. However, you can use whatever group policy settings you want. It applies exactly the same as it does applying it directly to an organizational unit. So that is how you can use group policy to apply settings to specific sites rather than directly to organizational units.